Welcome back to the program. I am Stephen M. Thank you for allowing me to be on your screen again as the master of mayhem as we get into some more of these conspiracy TikToks. Real quick, I don't want to horseplay all day, but before we do that, just do the world a favor. Do us all a favor. Just hit that sub button. Just go ahead and push it. Just push it. Push it real good. P push it real good. Push it. Push it real good. Okay, that's enough of the panhandle. Let's go ahead and get right up into this. What happened to Abigail Weston? During World War II, there was a rumor that the Germans were on the brink of creating super soldiers, which put pressure on all the governments to start their own super soldier program. Due to the danger of the experiments, no one volunteered, and eventually, one of the lead scientists, Albert Weston, offered up his daughter Abigail for the test. However, the experiments went south really quickly. Her hair started falling out and her bone structure started mutating, and shortly after that, she lost her mind. Realizing what he had done, Albert committed suicide. His colleagues were quick to try to get rid of Abigail and tried to starve her to death in her cell. However, she broke yeah. out and decapitated two security guards. Now, the official story says that she was recaptured and contained in Area 51, but guards and witnesses from that day claimed she was never captured and escaped south, hiding in Superstition Mountain, where many decapitated bodies have been found. So yeah, that thing looked like the Montauk monster. You ever see that thing that washed up on, uh, whatever, I guess it's Montauk, New York. They think it came from what, like Plum Island or something, whatever's out there that they're doing experiments on. Dude really just offered his daughter up like that. You think offering up a daughter in marriage is pretty, uh, pretty wild. But he just offered her up to, you know what? You need a super soldier. Take this broad. I'm sick of her shit anyways. <laughs> Nah, I mean they definitely got super soldiers. They wouldn't need to get somebody's daughter. They probably already have people growing in labs, and they take them, turn them into something, or all those people that go missing, or you know what are they doing with people on Epstein's island? They they they'll, they'll get people. You need some people, they'll get you some people, and they'll turn them into whatever you want to turn them into. MK Ultra super soldiers. You know they got super soldiers. And if they were talking about it back then, you know they got it by now. They probably got Mighty Morph from Power Rangers, Ninja Turtles, Razor Toka from The Seeker to Ooze coming at you. Pew, 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 like. Mama. Oh, mama. 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 Like, what? Come on now. You don't gotta alpha up your daughter. They're gonna get that shit done, boy. Anyway. Connection between John F. Kennedy and Abraham Lincoln. Both of them were elected to Congress in the year 46, and both their presidencies were in the year 60. Both men married in their 30s to women in their 20s, lost a son while in the White House, and both were shot in the head. But here's the biggest Boom. football. Lincoln was unalive in Ford's theater, and JFK was unalive in a vehicle made by Ford. Do you think this was really a coincidence, or they were actually connected somehow? First off, saying unalived is the dumbest shit ever. Like, can we just not talk as human beings? This is this is pure madness. <laughs> Take me back to my dimension where we could just, like, have logic and shit. I feel like I'm taking crazy pills! But, man, tell me we ain't assimilation, though. Speaking of other dimensions, I don't even know how we got here. That's just too much of a coincidence. It's just pure madness for something like that to happen. And, oh, and also... Lincoln got popped and JFK had Marilyn Monroe bent over and was popping that. Okay, chill out. This is a children's show. We don't got to act like that. I was horse playing. But boy, that, that, I mean, it does feel like it's just too, too perfect. Just like in the 1920s, there was a Spanish flu and there was a war and then the whole market and everyone was poor and hey, look at us here today. That's what we're doing. Same thing. A lot of shit happens like that throughout time. I mean, I really think we're in a simulation. Simulation. I got this theory. It might be absurd, but it's kind of like just like Sims. And you know, we, well, you gotta believe in God, but God is your player, and we all have our own player, and He's just controlling whatever. Some things line up just so perfect. It's like, how would that even happen like that? Like it is pre-planned. Like the Jamacher guys think everything's scripted. Look into that if you don't know about the Jamacher guys. Larry Johnson, former NFL. Uh, Running back, Penn State, uh, mm. Penn State alum and the legend Larry Johnson. Go check out his TikTok page or his Instagram. Dude's deep into it. Thinks the whole world's scripted, Jamatra and all that stuff. 
But uh, yeah, we all have a player. I'm not a player, I just crush a lot. And that's why God works in mysterious ways, because sometimes he just wants to be a dick, or sometimes our player's got to go piss, or and then so he's just sitting the controller down, and we're just like, I don't know what's going on in the world. You know what I mean? I ain't saying I know that that's a thing, but I'm just saying it, it, that it feels like that could be a thing. All right, leave me alone about it. You heard what they're doing in China right now? They're implementing AI in every aspect of China right now. And all these little kids are wearing like this headband, like this plastic thing that has a light on it, and it tracks if they're paying attention or not oh hell no I've and if they're this. not the light goes off and the teacher is informed it goes as far as to send <laughs> messages to the parents of oh, your child paid attention. attention no no you know what happens then that's when they end up uh in the sweatshops making your little iphones putting their little bleeding their, making their little fingers bleed with the bars on the windows and the that's oh that boy back in the day you get suspended over in china you know what they doing Gonna be making Jordans by the end of the week, kid. But it's therapeutic. Ooh. Attention this many hours today and didn't pay attention oh, this many hours. Oh, I don't like that. And so There's it's like, like getting into you, every hell aspect. no. Yeah, they're like making them like robots. Yeah. Dude. That's, that's a sad childhood. Man, that needs verified. If anyone knows that's true, please let me know down there in those comments. That's crazy. I don't expect <laughs> any less out of uh the chinese government i suppose whoever implements that but the scary part is it feels like everything they do there comes here that's like you know that means it feels like the american government's looking at them like man we need to be just like that their people don't do shit if they tell them like when that whole thing started in 2020 i didn't ever think it would come here i thought you know remember the hong kong protesters like no one even remembers the hong kong protesters never even brought them up they were going crazy over there in hong kong they were tearing the place up i'm like oh man these, the government in china's not gonna like this i mean they were waving trump flags and all that they wanted some freedom you know from that fascist trump a fascist is a fascist ah! they wanted some freedom Next thing you know, they're rolling out this, uh, you know, everyone's getting sick. They come out with the, with the. <laughs> dudes in the turtle suits welding them in their house. I'm like, oh, geez, that's crazy. Next thing you know, oh, this thing's starting to go everywhere. Oh, geez, you better stay in the house. Oh, geez, we're just like China. See, there's a lot of people out there who think like you. People who think their government doesn't have the right to go around poking their noses in the emails of its citizens. That is until a plane flies into a couple towers and a little girl loses her life. You want to live in the land of the free and the home of the brave. But the brave can't be free if the land isn't home. And that land won't be home so long as folks out there want to take that American flag and shove it so far up your anus that you crap stars and stripes for a week. And as you're sitting there on the toilet with the star-spangled Montezuma's revenge, there's one thing I can guarantee. Yeah, what's that? You won't care who's checking your Twitter account then. I mean, they're starting to do the digital IDs. You see the people reading, putting their palms down to get groceries and shit. Like, oh man, you do not want to read my mind. Like, imagine as a kid. That's scary, man. That's a horror film right there. Good God, we gotta resist this. Viva la resistance. Craziest coincidences in history. This is Napoleon who was born in 1760. And this is Adolf Hitler, who was born in 1889, 129 years after Napoleon. Napoleon rose to power in 1804 at the age of 44. And Adolf Hitler rose to power in 1933 at the age of 44. Again, 129 years after Napoleon rose to power. Napoleon came to Vienna in 1812 at the age of 52. And Adolf Hitler came to Vienna in 1941 at the age of 52. Once again, 129 years after Napoleon came to Vienna. Napoleon lost the war at the age of 56 in 1816. And Adolf Hitler lost the war at the age of 56 in 1945. Yet again, 129 years after Napoleon lost his war. For more. Holy sheep shit. Holy sheep shit. <laughs> what? I had no idea about all that. Does this guy know about the JFK and uh Lincoln thing? Dips again.
how how that's scripted like come on bro what is the chances of that and uh hey fellas if you're you know, not 44 yet still hope out there yeah i mean people got shit done it in their later years just kidding nothing good but you know what i'm saying you know keep your head up keep your chin up young bucks that's i mean napoleon went to vienna okay you know about napoleon complex like short people would act like you know like superior and you know overly tough like remember the bagel guy great why is it okay for women to say oh you're five feet on dating sites you should be dead that's okay dude you want to step outside hey. you want to step outside huh i'm not standing out hey. i know i know you shut up too you shut up. No. Go ahead and attack me big dog Oh my god. Oh my god. I just wanted bagels. <laughs> the bagel guy? Ah, uh, jeez. So, Napoleon went to Vienna and he's small. Is that why they're called Vienna sausages? Oh, no. Stephen is gay. Napoleon would be so mad about that if he knew about that. Jeez Louise, man. Again, scripted world we're living in here, folks. That's. Uh, who's coming next? How many years has it been since since Hitler? We better do some do some calculating. 129 years. Who's 44 years old right now? I don't even know. I have to look into it. Who's 44 right now? That could Vivex pretty young. Vivex pretty young. He seems all right though. I don't know. We're gonna have to do some math. We're gonna have to do some math, folks. Where's my mathematicians at? Let me know who's coming next. I'm sure if you if you don't, the Simpsons will. So be ahead of the curve. They've been telling us since 1950. Exactly. Yeah, travel around a bit. Damn, that young Charlie Chaplin really had his shit together. That's crazy that they were saying that back then. Boy, if he would see right now the way things are, if they were talking that way then, they thought it was bad then, was it? I mean, it can't be as bad as it is now. Holy hell, that's crazy. I wonder who wrote that for him. What year? Oh, 1950. It, said, it did say 1950. I think Charlie Chaplin couldn't have been a kid that young in 1950 either way that's still now there's only one group of people now that can flow into a country and it ah, doesn't matter uh, well like two groups of people really if you look at europe but we are in the middle of the uh, orchestrated destruction of western culture and the start of you know globalism and a new world order and all that so hey it's fun for everybody <laughs> i'll knock your socks off bud Okay, well, after all that, finally, we got the feel-good video of the day. Jeez Louise, this made me chuckle. The guy watching it chuckled, so let's have a chuckle real quick after all that, huh? Thank you, Secretary Buttigieg. I mean, it's pretty much that simple, and you've probably seen that, but Peter Booty Juice is hilarious, okay? Okay, I hope you liked it. Thank you for watching. If you didn't hit that sub button at the beginning, go ahead and hit that sub button for me real quick. It's right down there. If you liked the video, go ahead and leave a like on it. If you didn't like it, just keep it moving, bro, because I do not want any beef with you. That's all, folks.